What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be working on this motor. This is a 2AZ that I pulled out from a Cyan XB and it has a low compression on cylinder number one. So today I'm going to open it up and I'm going to find out what's wrong with it. I'm not going to fix it. I just want to know what happened to cylinder number one. I'm going to start by draining the oil. I already drained most of it, but I'm pretty sure there's some left and I'm also going to remove the oil filter. Uh, I don't know if there's any antifreeze. I did drain the antifreeze there's a drain plug right here so last time i drained it there might be a little bit more so i'm trying not to make a mess i'm gonna grab some cardboard right now and i'm gonna put it underneath once i drain my fluids i think i'm gonna start with the oil pan then i'm gonna remove the valve cover and the front cover i removed the drain plug and the filter apparently i did drain all the oil i was gonna do the oil pan first but since i have it the way it is right now i think i'm just gonna remove the valve cover i'm gonna check to see how it looks inside then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to remove the oil pan. Apparently there was a little bit of oil left. It's pretty dark. I'm going to remove all the bolts and we'll see how it looks inside of the engine. I just got to take all of them off. And we're going to open it up and see how it looks. So it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look like there's a lot of wear on the parts. I mean, it looks pretty clean and the valve cover, it looks pretty clean as well. So I'm gonna continue taking it apart. I'm gonna do the oil pan next, then I'm gonna remove the front cover. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the bolts from the oil pan. Then I'm also gonna remove this section. I'm gonna show you guys once I remove this cover to see if there's any metal debris or if, if I find anything else. Apparently I hit fast forward by mistake, but I was able to open it up and I didn't find anything so I mean it looked pretty clean underneath as well. To remove the front cover I gotta get rid of the water pump and then I just got the front cover bolts. I got my tensioner over here I'm gonna remove this first before I remove the cover and that should be it pretty simple so I'm gonna go ahead and start removing everything. I just removed the tensioner here's my tensioner and um, I'm gonna remove the water pump uh, this one, I, I'm going to have to pry it. I'm just going to use a flathead screwdriver to pry it off. It might leak some coolant. We'll see right now. Let's see. There it is. So here's my water pump. I'm just going to put it on the side as well. Now I'm going to remove all the bolts for the front cover. And I'm going to remove the front cover. I got all my bolts loose, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove all of them. It was a mix of 10 millimeters, 12s, and 14s, so I'm just going to take all of them off. I'm going to make sure I don't have any more, so it looks like there's no more. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pry the front cover off as well. I'm going to go ahead and use my screwdriver. I mean, on this one, I don't care if I break it anymore because I'm not going to reuse it, so I'm not even going to be careful. I'm just going to go ahead and pry it off. So there it is. I'm going to check for metal, which there's no metal because if there was any metal, it would be on the oil pan. And I mean, it's, it's not the best, but there's no debris at all. So the cover looks okay. And uh, in front of the motor, I mean, everything looks good. There's a spider over here. Now that I removed the front cover, I'm going to go ahead and remove the guides, the chain, the cams, and I'm going to go ahead and take the head off. I got my caps loose, so I'm just going to go ahead and take all of them off. I'm not even going to keep them in order because I'm not going to put this motor back together anymore. So... I'm just going to remove all of them. And I'm going to check my cams. And honestly, honestly, they don't look that bad. The journals, they look pretty clean. They're still polished. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the cams. And I'm just going to put them on the side. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the head bolts. So there is going to be a head bolt under under this one. This is a bearing. 
I'm gonna take off the bearing. I mean, it, it looks like there's a little bit of wear. So there's a little bit of wear on, on this side. On this side of the bearing. I wanna take this one off already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off. There it is. I'm gonna go grab the socket and I'm gonna break all the bolts loose. I got all the head bolts loose. So now I'm gonna take them off. I'm gonna use a magnet. I mean, it's a lot easier with the magnet. So you gotta remove the head bolt and the washer. I'm gonna go ahead, finish removing all the head bolts. Then I'm gonna remove the head and I'm gonna see if, if it was a piston, the valve or something else. All right, I'm pretty much ready to take the head off. I removed all the head bolts already. I'm gonna break it loose. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the head. Oh, and there is the problem right there. I have a broken valve. So I'm gonna completely take the head off. I'm just gonna put it on the side and I'm gonna inspect the whole thing. I took the head gasket off and apparently, I mean, the head gasket looks pretty good. I don't see any damage on the head gasket. So now, I wanna go ahead and take this valve off and I wanna see if the seat is damaged as well. I also wanna see if it's uh, straight or if it bent. Um, I don't know, it doesn't look like nothing hit on the piston. So, I mean, this could have been combustion, a combustion problem. So timing, probably timing or it was probably too lean. Uh, the uh, timing was way too advanced. Not enough fuel, I mean, who knows, but I mean, I wanna take this off and I wanna take a good look at it. All right, so I got it off and it doesn't look like it's bent. I mean, I kind of rolled it and it looks pretty straight, except for the little piece of metal that it's missing. And also I check on the head and I mean, I don't have a light, but I mean, the seat looks okay. So it definitely had something to do with combustion. I think it was running too lean and it probably got too hot. And um, I mean, a piece came off. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna completely take the motor apart. I'm gonna remove the pistons, the crank. I just wanna inspect them and see how they look. Then I'm gonna go ahead and scrap the motor because I have no use for it anymore. So I'm gonna finish taking it apart and um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be clean inside. This plastic came off of the block. So it goes outside of the cylinders where the coolant goes. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the oil pump. So this is the oil pump right here and there's only three bolts holding it. And then it looks like it has some kind of balance shafts. I'm gonna go ahead and take those off as well. Then I'm gonna remove the oil pan. So I do have balance shafts over here and they're gear driven. I'm gonna go ahead and just put them on the side. All right, so now I'm gonna remove the oil pan. I pretty much remove all the bolts. So there's two right here. And then there's a couple of bolts around the outside. There's two inside. And then there's gonna be one right here. So you have to remove this feeding or this adapter for the oil you gotta take this off and then you can get to the bolt inside so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put this on the side i'm gonna start removing the pistons there's four of them not a big deal and then i'm gonna remove the mains and the crank and uh, it looks like these ones they have oil squirts inside of the block so that's pretty nice no wonder these engines they last a little longer all right so i got them all loose they're pretty much loose so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove cylinder number one. And I'm gonna take a look at it, see how, if there's any damage actually. Um, and the, the bearing, I mean, it looks a little bit worn, but I mean, it doesn't look that bad. Just regular tear and wear. The crank looks pretty good. So it's still polished. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the the piston completely. There it is. Let's go ahead and take a look at the piston. And uh, honestly, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, I got it covered in oil over here, but let me go ahead and clean it. I'm gonna clean it real quick so I can take a good look at it. All right, so I just clean it a little bit and I mean, the piston looks pretty good, but there is a little bit of, of carbon on this side. I don't know if you guys are able to see it. So I guess um, it was either leaking compression through the rings or maybe the oil was leaking into the cylinder. It was probably burning oil. 
it looks like there's carbon on top of it so i mean who knows so i'm just gonna go ahead and take the rest of the pistons off i mean if this one doesn't look that bad i'm pretty sure the other ones are gonna look a lot better i got the rest of the pistons right here i already took them off there is carbon on top of the piston but i mean it doesn't look that bad normal and um I mean, it looks like there is also carbon in between the rings. So, I mean, it was probably definitely burning oil. So, I'm going to go ahead and take the crank off. I mean, it's touching on the engine stand. If anything, I'll just break this loose so that I can move the crank. But I'm just going to go ahead and take it off. I just want to look at the mains, and that's going to be it. I got the mains off, and they actually and they look pretty good, all of them. So here's the the one on the front. I mean, I kind of got it dirty with my hands, but I mean, overall, I mean, they look they look pretty pretty good, pretty clean. And this one on the crankshaft, I mean, it's pretty polished. So I mean, this is a good crankshaft. So I'm just gonna completely take it apart, and um, that's gonna be it. Here's my crank, and I already checked it. Everything looks good here's the block i checked the mains on the block and all the mains look good the oil squirts they look okay there's not a lot of oil sludge inside of the engine so they probably did replace the oil um so here's the motor in pieces and honestly the only thing i was able to find was the valve anything other than that everything looks okay so that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe if you guys have any questions let me know and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.